What's up crew, Chaz here with Side Hustle Network and in today's video I'm going to be starting a new series just simply documenting vlog style what goes on here in the warehouse. First company that we run is a prep center. This is definitely the more time consuming one. A prep center simply will receive packages from other Amazon FBA sellers. We will prep and ship those items for them and ship them into their Amazon accounts. And because we're not really in a growth phase, we're just kind of hitting cruise control. We have about eight employees running the whole thing. Some days are heavy, heavy shipping days. So so we have a client that might ship in 2,000 units at once versus the normal 500. Some days we are short staff, so those are the days that my wife Trista and I will hop over, um, jump on the line, start prepping and shipping. And then other days where the staff is fully capable of handling all the shipping going out that day, we physically don't have to touch the prep center side. So then we get to work on our business, which is our second company. That is simply what you guys know us as is Side Hustle Network, and that's where we get to buy and sell products on Amazon and eBay. Now getting back into YouTube, I get to focus a little bit more on this because I have missed YouTube so much. And every day is a wide variety of different things. Some days we focus on our own Amazon FBA um, account. Some days we focus heavily on eBay. So today's actually going to be a very healthy mix of all the different things. I have some work I need to do on the prep center side. I have an Amazon FBA shipment of my own going out today because we just got done with Black Friday shopping. Spent about 5K looking to make about 3K profit on that load. So that needs to be shipped out today. Um, those of you who shop Black Friday know that you need to get that stuff shipped out ASAP and get that stuff quick selling. I'm also on a growth phase with eBay. So I've been listing 20 items a day with eBay. We currently have 32 items that need to be shipped out. So that was a great weekend for us. And then I'm also creating this content. So it's gonna take a little extra time for me to remember to take out my camera and, and record all this for you. So welcome to episode one of, let's just call it the warehouse series where we're gonna get bring you guys behind the scenes. Um, there's currently a train passing by, I'm not even gonna cut that out. But without further ado, let's get to our work day. So currently it's about 8.15 a.m. Um, I just got into the office, I haven't touched anything. I just turned on a light coming for the camera. I turned on my computer so I can kind of get an overview of what's going on. The schedule changes pretty much on a daily basis just depending on which business needs attention in different places. And also our almost seven year old Titus is now in first grade. So we're we're handling a school schedule for the first time ever. So usually drop off, I just did at 7.50, got here to the office, and then one of us will have to go pick him up uh, by three o'clock. So we're working around that schedule too. So first thing that I do as the owner, my wife is obviously an owner as well, but me specifically, what I do is I come in, open up my computer and I use Todoist, the app um, for my to-do list. From there, I just review what are the top priority things that need to get done today that are going to help move our business forward the most. What things can I put off until tomorrow that really aren't that big of a priority? And then from there, I actually make my to-do list for today specifically. So here are my main priorities for today. I have tons of other small to-do list items on a different list I can always do, but these are my absolute priorities that will move our business forward today. First three, like I mentioned, Amazon FBA shipment of all of our Black Friday goods, ship out our 30 plus eBay items, photo and list 20 items, and then I can switch over to network prep, which is our prep center. Support tickets are literally just support tickets that clients put in for reconciling products, questions, issues, etc. Slack and email. Slack is an instant messaging system used for all of our clients. So follow up on all the messages over the weekend from that. And last is ship out client eBay orders, which is a new service that we're testing out. So that will be kind of going public pretty soon. So that's my to-do list for today. Let's get to work. So now that we're outside, uh, this is our primary setup in here, network prep. And then this was our second building. Uh, just a little 1800 square foot bay. We only ever got this building because we have one specific client that started shipping 10,000 units a month. So that was pretty much dedicated for him on top of having extra pallet storage it was um, really nice. But our lease is up on that pretty soon because we're actually moving to Texas and we're gonna keep this location running by our staff. So this is gonna be our primary setup. Our FBA shipment is complete. Next up on the agenda, quick lunch, and then we've got to go ship eBay. And first step of the eBay shipping, I need to go pull my orders. So got a couple totes. All of our eBay stuff is located up there. These are all air bubbles that we need to get rid of. So we have to make our way up. 
So this is where we store all, all of our listed inventory. You can see I go by um, A, B, C, D, et cetera, one, two, three. This middle row is actually all super old stuff that I need to bring down and list. And then Trista keeps all of her clothing on this half. So now we need to go through, pull all of the items that sold. Super easy pull inventory. I just use my phone, scroll through here, pick out what we need. It's based on the custom SKU, so it shows me exactly which bin it's in. So for example, Blue Yeti in custom label F2. It's gonna be right here. This one's actually right up front. I did not put it in the listing because I couldn't find it, but I did find a brand new cord to go with it afterwards. So we're gonna throw that in there. All right, so there's most of our stuff. I actually have about six more items next door that sold I just recently listed. And we're back in the office for some eBay shipping. Yay! Look, it's a guest appearance by <laughs> Wifey. All right, so we got 35 items going out, which... That's pretty good for us. I don't think we've seen 35 items in a weekend in a long time. Mm -mm. Uh, about 1400 bucks, huge array of stuff as you guys saw. We'll showcase just a few items for you, how much it was, where we got it, etc. But 35 items would be a two hour video, so we'll just showcase a few here. So first up, Trista got a score of the month. That's how I categorize our clothing. So I take a picture of this tag with the item and then that goes on the listing. So then I could just pull it if it's not in the custom SKU, which it's usually not, because I'm terrible at filling that out, uh, then I can just pull it that way. This is Johnny Was. If you ever find Johnny Was, pick it up. Um, this is a gorgeous embroidered top. So uh, extra large, so awesome size. I bought it for $8 at Goodwill. So I sold it for 105 and Pretty good. I, I don't math, but I think the ROI is good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for such a nice item, I'm definitely gonna put it in a poly bag, and then um, because it's lightweight, I'm gonna actually put it in a box just because I want to make sure um, it gets there safely, and um, I don't want to get a email from a customer saying that the poly bag got punctured or is wet or something like that. We get these boxes from Uline. It's 846 is kind of our favorite size. It fits a lot of stuff. It fits Funko Pops best. It's kind of why we buy them, but. As you guys can see, this is one of the Funkos that sold. Um, for Funko Pops, we bubble wrap, two squares of bubble wrap, and then we pop them inside an 864 box. So that's why we like these. Plus when you have higher end items like that, super nice to use. Tape gun. And just like that, day in the life of running a prep center, sometimes you get stopped in the middle of what you're doing because... Hi. Hi. Pretty showed up. And that is the reality of running a prep center is we have deliveries of all sorts that show up at random times. Uh, fortunately, we did hire out the position of receiving, so we do have a guy that's here to receive all this stuff. But I just forgot, he clocked out early today, so let's go pick this up. All right, so for this item, I figure it's a nice little showcase uh, bundle. Millennium Falcon, 2015, and a 1996, yep, 1996 Slave One. Found these together in a bag at a garage sale. She had 10 bucks on them, I offered five and she took it. If you ever find action figures or vehicles or anything like this, super easy to find comps on. Literally 99.9% .9 of them will have somewhere that date on it. And all you have to do is type in, for example, Millennium Falcon has 2015 stamped on it. So 2015 Millennium Falcon. Then you can start to dive down the rabbit trail on eBay till you find your exact one. Always, always, always pay attention to every detail. 
If you type in 1996 Slave 1, for example, you're going to see ones that look very similar that sell for more, but there's some slight differences such as what's on um, the actual guns. So pay attention to that stuff when you're actually looking at comps. And now for the shipping, paid five bucks. I listed them for $49.95 together and I took a $40 offer. So I'm gonna bundle these up do the shipping, show you guys what the profit is. So first thing I'm going to use, I also carry a 10 by eight by six box. These work out um, extremely well. Um, the common box sizes that we use are those eight by six by four for Funko Pops and smaller items. 10, eight, six is my next favorite size. And then a larger version would be a 12, 10, eight. And real quick note, yes, these are from Uline. Uline will eat you alive on the shipping charges. Because we run a prep center, we order pallets of stuff at a time. So we typically just throw these on the pallet. So technically free shipping on the smaller items like this. But if you are not ordering in bulk from Uline to get that freight discount, then you can check out the Boxery, um, even eBay, Staples, tons of different other places have really good cheap boxes. Another item that I'm a big fan of when it comes to packing supplies is craft paper. You can get these on various websites, but I actually just go up to Lowe's and get a big roll of it, also called constructor's paper. So that's typically what I get from here. I'm actually out of the big roll, so this is just packing supplies that we had left over from the prep center. This makes for great padding on the bottom of a box, especially when you're packing sometimes fragile items like that, as well as on the top. All right, so on this one, we've got one pound, 13 ounces, a 10 by eight by six box, which brings us to a priority mail price of $12.44. Next item is a complete inbox mint condition red Wii system. This one is popular because it came with both Super Mario Bros Wii and Wii Sports. I actually got this as part of a larger lot. It was an old school NES system and I specifically got that lot not because of this but because of a few other items. And those items would be these guys right here. Complete inbox, amazing condition, Super Mario 2, 3, We've also got Donkey Kong from the old NES. In that box, that lot was at the actual NES, probably about six different loose cartridge games and a few other um, complete in-box games. These were just the big titles. So that's what I bought that box for. I spent 400 bucks for everything. My thought process was, I just want these for my own personal collection. So if I can flip the rest of it to cover my own cost, then that's a win for me. But fortunately, this guy did sell for 225, which is gonna be a tremendous um, covering of that cost. And then I also am going to be able to sell to NES with the other games by itself as well. So if you're a slight collector like myself and a seller, that's something to pay attention to when you buy larger lots, you get to cherry pick out the stuff that you want for yourself and sell the rest to cover your own cost. So it makes my collection kind of free. That's how I explained it to the wife at least. I wanna keep it in, in as good of condition as I can obviously, so I'm not just gonna throw it in a large poly mailer, which I could do. So I'm just gonna grab eyeballing this. I should be able to just put this inside of a small U-Haul box and then cut that box down. So that's what I'm going to do. There goes the packages. Uh, our post office gal showed up a little early, so I still got 10 more. 10 more items that I did not get on the truck tonight, which means I gotta package these up and then go drop them off at the post office myself. First world problems, but we'll get it done. All right, that concludes the eBay shipping. Got the FBA shipment out. After doing the FBA shipment, I realized I have a pile of an additional probably 60 to 80 units here in the other warehouse that I've been holding on to that I probably should have shipped out, so I'll do that tomorrow. Um, also got the network prep, Slack, emails, support tickets done. So it is now already four o'clock, and that happened because we had a couple different things pop up middle of the day that soaked up some time. Um, one of them was a difficult thing to take care of, but it's part of being a business owner and dealing with staff. And I'm not going to have time today to get my eBay photos done, but fortunately I have a huge backlog of photoed items on my phone, so I'll get those 20 listings up tonight. I'm not going to have time to do those eBay photos because I just got word that my favorite store 
is doing a 50% off discount right now, store wide. So I'm about ready to go hit the gym for about 45 minutes, hit the road and go do some sourcing. This is an example of being in the middle of Q4 is when you have these bolos pop up or these deals or these sales, you've gotta be ready uh, to drop everything and just go. So I'm gonna be out a little bit later tonight than I typically like. Most of the time I'm home by six o'clock after the gym, spend some time with the family, cook dinner, meal prep for the next day, etc. But tonight I probably get home about eight o'clock. Uh, fortunately, I already know exactly what I'm sourcing from this specific store. So it's just gonna go in, get my units, maybe scan a few new SKUs and um, hopefully get some more stuff. And from there, hit the road, get back home. The store is about 40 minutes away is the downfall. On top of all this, Trista had to jolt real quick. If you didn't notice, she wasn't in the shipping portion of the video because we got a call from our plumber. Uh, we had a pipe burst yesterday morning in our front yard. We had this huge seeping uh, pool of water coming up through the grass. So she got a call that somebody had to be there during the fix. So she had to jolt, go do that, kid pick up all the things, but this is exactly why I wanna document this stuff. I don't wanna edit everything to make it look like we had the perfect day of sourcing, shipping, etc. A lot of times you kind of just go with the flow based on what is coming up. And that's a prime example of what happened today. Um, today was by <laughs> no means perfect. Um, I should have done my eBay shipping first before my FBA shipment because my FBA shipment could have waited till tomorrow. My eBay shipping, I now have 10 items that I need to go drop off to the post office myself. Doesn't matter how long you've been in the game, you're going to have mistakes that come up and you're gonna find ways that you can improve, etc. But with that being said, I'm gonna go hit the road, get my gym sesh in, go do some sourcing. All right, just finished with the gym. Quick arm session. Uh, Trista's gonna end up going to this store with me, which is actually Under Armour. But before then, we're gonna meet her right here at the parking lot next to the gym, which means we're going to go over real quick. Found me a wifey. And I found a kid. Hello. So daddy, you're fine. What'd you find? <laughs> you found Catboy and a Minion backpack. Score. Say yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> no? Too many things popping out. Except for, if you guys know, you know, let's look at some comps on this. Alright, so comps. Usually, I mean, these are in good shape. My hesitation is welcome to Portland area, 25 bucks. That's so most shoes around here are usually 25 to 30, uh, so I'm not surprised on that. I usually like to see my comps at a 25 cost be at least 60, uh, make a healthy profit. Comps on this probably about 40, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. All right, done with Goodwill. Little one is, what do you want? She wants to listen to songs. So we gotta hurry up. Uh, we're gonna go to Under Armour. Tristan wants to go to Disney. Disney. Um, they're doing like 20% off, maybe 30. Yeah. So if we get some stuff there, but keep you guys posted. And that's a wrap. Um, that ended up being an extremely successful trip. Spent 900 bucks, that'll be double money. Um, it, I don't even care about the product that we got. I just made friends with both of the store managers and they uh, hooked me up with some numbers. So that alone was worth the trip. If any of you guys have been following us for any amount of time, you know that I preach, 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 build relationships because it's not about the product we bought today, it's about the product that these guys are gonna notify us about in the future. So successful trip, successful day. We're gonna go home now, nice work. I just wanted to point out before we end this little vlog that this is not a typical day. We've spent zero time with the kids, which is not usually our norm, but we're in the middle of Q4, and if you're a seller, you know that you have to be ready to drop anything to go grab products sometimes. Uh, so I'll keep doing these vlogs for you guys and show you more actual behind the scenes. A normal day is we're home by six, and we just chill for the night. So thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time.